The sense of satisfaction and comfort I feel from anything I have done in my life, the most I receive when I think of the foundation. Dilma founder Meryl J. Fernando established the MJF Charitable Foundation, fulfilling a lifelong dream of helping his plantation sector workers enjoy a better quality of life. From humble beginnings, the MJF Charitable Foundation has expanded far beyond what its founder could ever have imagined. Joined by his sons and their families, the story of Dilma and the MJF Charitable Foundation is only just beginning. The foundation has now grown to include over 150 projects across Sri Lanka, touching thousands of lives and fulfilling its pledge to make business a matter of human service. Since its inception, the foundation has supported over 12,000 families throughout the plantations, including around 2,000 children through the child development centres, ensuring the children receive a midday meal, school bags, accessories and their uniforms while the housing projects enable these hard-working communities to lead dignified lives, ensuring access to water, sanitation and health facilities. The Mankata Pottery Centre provides economic independence to a group of marginalised villagers living on the periphery of the Uduwalawe National Park in southeastern Sri Lanka. They draw inspiration from the park for their original pieces. <laughs> The School of Inspiration was gifted to the isolated area of Kulara as part of the MJF Charitable Foundation's wider efforts to enable communities through knowledge, providing access to quality education, transforming the community through their children. The purpose of us helping to renovate the school is to change the lives of the people who live here. The Rainbow Centre in Colombo at the MJF Centre for Dignified and Sustainable Empowerment in Moratua and Sithajaya, the Meryl J. Fernando Centre for the Differently Abled, located at Ambalantota in southern Sri Lanka, and the Monaragala Deaf and Blind School ensure that differently abled children receive proper education to live productive, independent lives with dignity. The MJF Charitable Foundation established the National Centre for Cerebral Palsy and Developmental Disorders, Colombo, in partnership with the Cerebral Palsy Lanka Foundation. The centre supports those living with cerebral palsy and developmental disorders, as a lack of awareness and social stigma has led young people with such conditions to live a life of isolation and marginalisation. This is further supported by the establishment of Sri Lanka's only database for persons with developmental disorders, facilitating effective planning, implementation and monitoring of a national strategy aimed at building the capacity of those with special needs, along with their families and caregivers. There is a desperate need to extend the kind of help we are providing because there are poor children, disabled children who remain neglected. Since 2008, the MJF Charitable Foundation has hosted the Dilma Challenge Trophy, which celebrates sportsmanship and teamwork of the visually impaired through the popular game of cricket. The annual sports festival ADEX, Aid to the Exabled, sponsored by the MJF Charitable Foundation, has for the past 19 years provided a platform for the differently abled to realise their potential, celebrating their abilities rather than disabilities inspire confidence in them, to let them restart their lives and their businesses. So we bought them tools, whatever was necessary, raw material and the equipment they needed. And as I said earlier, every one of them, the small entrepreneur program has been successful. widows participating in that, we have given them the tools to start their own projects and uh, it is doing very well so far. The SEP program also includes war widows as well as the rehabilitation and reintegration of former prisoners. The program has helped reduce the number of re-offenders 
as they instead channel their energy towards developing their business, themselves and the community. The MJF Charitable Foundation runs a comprehensive education program for children of the plantations community. Further support is given to marginalised youth through vocational training at the Diria Centre in Monaragala and at the MJF Centre Moratua, which also offers free courses in graphic design and Microsoft Word. It is the vision of the Foundation to make the MJF Centre for Dignified and Sustainable Empowerment in Moratua a centre of excellence where underprivileged kids and youth are given the best possible care. The Foundation's Empower Culinary Hospitality and Inspirational School is a unique initiative that creates new avenues for disadvantaged youth through culinary education. With classroom sessions and practicals in the Moratua Centre's state-of-the-art culinary kitchen, the students receive a wholesome training experience, enabling them to find exciting opportunities in the field of gastronomy and hospitality throughout Sri Lanka. The newest addition to the MJF Charitable Foundation is the MJF East Centre in Calcutta on Sri Lanka's northeastern coast. Here there is a large number of conflict-affected families in need of support, including war widows, single parent or child-run families, along with a host of other socio-economic issues. The 23-acre campus will provide a platform to promote community programs, including activities for children, women, youth and vocational training to upskill participants, changing the lives of the communities within the area. The state-of-the-art facility will feature living roofs, wind tunnels and be powered almost completely using solar energy. Wastewater will be recycled, treated and used to water the gardens. When we started foundation activities, I watched the results of some of our efforts in teaching in giving children opportunities to go to school and giving scholarships to children. In fact, I have been telling so many people that that is the best investment anybody can make in this country because there are brilliant children who do not have the opportunity to go to school. If businesses realize the need to help others, and make it a human service, there will be thousands and thousands of children like that who will really blossom out. Business is truly a matter of human service. Our business is providing an effective human service to people. There is a desperate need to extend the kind of help we are providing and I feel sure that in about 10 years time more and more people will begin to feel that helping the poor is not a choice it's mandatory